In international news, General Abdel Fattah Bahan, head of Sudan's ruling sovereign council, visited Al Fashaka in the east of Sudan on Monday after Ethiopia killed seven Sudanese soldiers and a civilian in the border area. Now, the incident was the latest sign of deteriorating ties between the East African nations. Take a look at the story. A Sudanese military statement late on Sunday described the killings as a cowardly act and said Khartoum would retaliate. According to the statement, the killings violated all the laws and customs of war and international humanitarian law. It added that Ethiopia displayed the bodies outside in the open and did not provide further details, including how a civilian farmer was involved. Sudanese media outlet Monte Caro posted a graphic photo online purportedly showing the bodies of seven dead in military uniforms lying motionless as a group of people looked on. It said the bodies were of the dead soldiers. Sudanese foreign minister said in a statement on Monday that the eight had been taken into Ethiopia after the soldiers were held captive in an area inside Sudan on June 22nd. The minister said it was recalling the Sudanese ambassador from the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa and summoned the Ethiopian envoy in Khartoum to protest the killings. It also said it would complain to the United Nations. Ethiopia's foreign ministry confirmed the killings in what it described as a tragic incident.